on the gale. What? Uh, are my eyes deceiving me? There is no way. I can't believe it. Hey, Mona! We heard you muttering from a long way away. What's up? Oh, is your scry glass acting up again? Oh, it's you, the saviors of this world. My scry glass is fine, but I'm not sure I can say the same about my eyes. Look! Look at this statue! What? Is it broken or something? Looks fine to Paimon. That's your master, right? A.K.A. the Goddess of Prophecy? Mm, I refuse to believe it. There's no way that old hag looks anything like this. When she was younger. Oh, actually, now that you mention it, this does remind me of the fashionista phase she wrote about in her diary. <laughs> She can't hear me, can she? I swear I just got chills down my spine. Uh, either way, it's probably a little rude to talk about her right under her statue. But how do you know it's a statue of her if you never saw her as a young woman? I did a quick scry when I came into this world, and when I saw the star's reflections, I was at a loss for words. It looks like fate in Simulanka is based directly on Tevat. A projection of real-world fate to form an image of reality. Or in layman's terms, uh, basically the creator made this world inside a mirror or a lake, and this world is the reflection. 
still sounds pretty impressive. The more I scryed, the more familiar everything looked. It's her work, there's no doubt about it. Even so, everything's far more... complex than I'd imagined. Trying to decipher it all is giving me quite a headache. I also asked the locals about her. They call her she who has dominion over the stars and the course of fate itself. Not even a pretense of humility. Clearly, she let the role of creator goddess get to her head. Not that I'm surprised in the least, of course. It certainly matches the tone of her diary. <clears throat> anyway, we should change the topic. Oh, so Mona, have you seen a small dragon around by any chance? He's about the same size as Paimon, but with tiny little wings. Ah, you mean the one that caused all that trouble? I haven't seen him for myself, but I heard that he came to the Metropole not long ago to formally apologize for his actions. Apparently, he brought a huge stash of titanium and plant oil to make amends. Most people accepted his apology, although there are some who said that they'll reserve judgment until they've seen how he acts in the future. Oh, okay. Do you know where we can find him? One moment. Ah, uh -huh. it looks like he's at the Broken Sea. There's a big group of people with him, too. Cool! Wanna come with us? We can introduce you! Hmm... I think I'll sit this one out. This might be the closest I ever get to meeting the old hag in our youth, so... I think I'll spend some time seeing what else I can glean from her grand design. Uh, you guys have fun. Anytime. We'll be off now. See you later, Mona! Creating a whole world starscape is no easy task. Old hag, I guess you do deserve the title of Trismegistus after all. The wind rises! Vines. Does thou see what I am seeing? Tell me that my all-perceiving Aug de Verertelung deceiveth me not. Your eyes see true, main Fräulein. Very well. Then, as sovereign ruler of the Emenachreich, I extend to you both my greetings, O Night Dragon from the Land of the Thousand Stars and his hat-wearing servant. Who did you just call a servant? What Main Fräulein means to say is, hello, it's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too! <laughs> but Hat Guy's not my servant, he's my friend! <sighs> now you're over-explaining. Hat Guy, Minnie Durin! Found you at last! Whoa, and Fischl's with you too? <laughs> oh! Greetings, Outlander, blessed by the Emenachreich! How honored you are to meet your princess in beneath the stars of another sky. Clearly a decision made by fate itself. Mr. Honorary Knight, Paimon! Greetings. You both look well. Have you been having fun here? Yup! Loads and loads of fun! There are so many cute animals! And a magic train that was really long! And a huge, huge castle! And a king lives there and everything! I've been taking Cletus to see all the sights. 
It's been a very enriching experience. Alice's magic is truly outstanding. Yeah, Mom's amazing! Klee wants to build a great big house now, too! So... Your mom and my mom... were friends? Mm-hmm. Our moms were friends, which makes you my big brother! My mom used to read your mom's stories to me all the time. They were great! Big brother? Wow! Thank you, Klee! Can I go play with Klee, Hat Guy? Suit yourself. Albedo! Albedo, can I? Go on. Uh, just don't go too far away. I'll come pick you up later. Yay! Come on, Mini Durin! Do you want to come play with us too, Fischl? <laughs> your princess and accepts your invitation. Rejoice! Though you may be concealed by fog, still you shall have the good fortune to witness the true might of the Aug de Bertelung. What Main Fräulein means to say is, perhaps we can all play hide and seek together. Main Fräulein is it. <laughs> Hooray! I love hide and seek! Oh, me too! To return to our previous discussion, Mr. Hat Guy, you were telling me about a prophecy? I heard B talking to M. What she said was... Since you're so persistent, let me tell you a secret. Our child will one day rise from the dead. Uh, is she saying... Dragon's fine Durin will come back to life? I only heard it in a memory, so don't hold me to it. Understood. My recent observations at Dragonspine lend credence to this prophecy as well. Durin's heart has slowly but surely been growing in vitality. The process is extremely slow, but the trend is clear. Uh, what should we do? To start with, plan for every potential scenario. Including, of course, the worst case scenario. <sighs> I am well aware of Durin's past, and I sincerely hope that things never escalate to that point. Still, we need to be prepared for every possibility. If the prophecy is true, and Durin's heart will one day beat again, I'd like to hope that whatever rises from the dead is no evil dragon, if you understand what I mean. Kind of? But not really. And so, when the time comes, Mr. Hat Guy, will you and Simulanka's Durin be willing to lend us a hand in our hour of need? Huh? What's this got to do with me? You save the Durin of this world. I don't see that as a mere coincidence. If there is any meaning to be read into the actions of the three goddesses, beyond fairy tale whimsy alone, I can only boldly speculate that the fate of this reflected world may have a reciprocal effect upon our own world. If Durin of Dragonspine will soon come back to life, we will need many Durin's help as well as yours, given that your fates are now intertwined. <sighs> well, that's a nuisance. To be sure, it certainly won't be easy. Albedo, Albedo! There's a flying paper ship over there! Can we go see it together, please? Sure. Uh, two seconds, I'll be right with you. Please give my suggestion some thought, Mr. Hat Guy. Hat guy, I'm back! Huh? What were you guys talking about? <sighs> Nothing. Huh. Okay then, let's go join the others. Everyone's going to check out the new origami ship. <sighs> Alright, I'll be right there.
why would I be? Do I strike you as someone who cares about other people's issues? Quit trying to guess what I'm thinking. I'm leaving. Fairy helped us make it! Paimon just realized there's a lot fewer people around the Broken Sea now. Guess most of them have made their way back to the Metropole. Does this boat have a name? I can't see one anywhere. Huh? A name? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Every boat has a name. At least, all the ones I've seen before. They're usually symbolic names that represent something aspirational. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go with... the Durin. Huh? You want to name it after me? Oh, you mean to wish Mini Durin a safe voyage as he sails into a new chapter of his life beyond this world? Your princess approves. Let this vessel bear the name of the most esteemed dragon of the night. The Turin. <laughs> Let's call it that then. Thank you, hat guy. Also, can I ask you a favor? Go on. Remember how mom's friend said I should be able to leave this world? Well, I want to pay a visit to your world. Just a quick trip, can we? Huh? Oh, is... is that a no? Paimon thinks that's a great idea! If the people of Simulanka are allowed to go to Tevat, then what's the problem with taking Mini Durin there for a visit? I'm assuming I'll have to be your bodyguard while we're there. I... I can protect myself! And I'll do what you say! I won't fly off on my own, I promise! Please, can I go? It'll be up to you to stick close. If you disappear on me, don't expect me to come looking. Got it! I'll stick close! Why don't you take the Durin? Now you've given it a name, it'll be a maiden voyage for the boat, and a brand new journey for you. Are you leaving, Mini Durin? Okay. Well, make sure you come visit me in Mondstadt so we can play together again. Clee will draw you a map to show you the way. Though our time together has been as fleeting as a ray of light in the depths of the long night, the Imanachreich will welcome you with the grandest of music ceremonies on the occasion of our next reunion. As surely as the stars in the sky watch over us, we shall meet again. What Main Fräulein means is that you're always welcome to visit her at home as well. Cool! Ah, I have so many new friends now! I'm so happy! <sighs> Are you done yet? If you want to leave, then get over here. Thank you, everyone! Thank you so much! The blessings you gave me are more precious than any treasure, and more beautiful than any fairy tale! Next time, it will be my turn to make your wishes come true!
Take it and have fun. Jesus. 